Mind you, this is not a documentary to drill deep into all the Wi-Fi standards. I just want to point out when a brand claims that the gadgets support the latest Wi-Fi standard, which now is usually six, six E or even seven, let's debunk this marketing hype and determine what's the actual effect for you, and whether or not you can truly benefit from it as a normal consumer. Theoretically speaking, you will get faster internet and do better in dense environments when you upgrade from one generation of Wi-Fi to another. Pause here. Remember, these are theoretically speed only. What you experience in real life is a totally different matter. For example, using Wi-Fi 5, the most common standard everywhere, have you ever reached 1.3 gigabyte per second? In a normal consumer's point of view, sort of yes, it is overhyped. Your home router, or your company's router, or the router of any public Wi-Fi facilities are probably still stuck with Wi-Fi 5. Also known as Wi-Fi 802.11 AC, this standard is the same as what a lot of modern-day smartphones support the max as well. Do you know how expensive these new routers are? If they are to support Wi-Fi 6, 6E or 7, it takes time for the price to come down. So don't rush to go and buy a Wi-Fi 6 router purely just to accommodate your phone's support for Wi-Fi 6. Even when Wi-Fi 6 was introduced in 2019, and now we are in 2023, most mid-range phones still doesn't support. Wi-Fi 6, let alone budget ones. Another reason not to fall into the hype. By no means your Wi-Fi 5 is bad. It's still perfectly usable. No matter you're watching your Netflix, watching TikTok, YouTube Shorts, playing your mobile game, or just casually browsing and Instagramming. Wi-Fi 6, 6E or 7 may have existed long before you know it, and they are targeted at high throughput, low latency applications, such as augmented reality, virtual reality. Remote office and cloud computing. We, as normal consumers, may not truly reap the benefits of it for the next couple of years. Well, unless you're a professional gamer and need the best internet speed and experience. In this case, maybe broadband or 5G is better for you. And anyway, your Wi-Fi or broadband speed is also affected by which plan you are using. If you're using a cheaper plan from your telecom provider, then for sure, even if it supports the latest Wi-Fi 7, it's going to be slow. I would be happy to know my gadget supports an upgraded Wi-Fi version, but I won't be fussed about it. So don't let this Wi-Fi standard hype get you. Let me know your thoughts and comments on that, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video.